Hey guys, good morning. It's Mike. It's Rowena. Let's talk about Mr. Nice Guy Jackie Chan for a moment here. You mean yourself? <laughs> okay, I do admit. I, I, I see, Resembles. I've seen some Jackie Chan pictures and I'm like, that, that does kind of look like me. That could be me. Right, and like like this this one right here that um, I'm pointing to. Anyway, um, so although we sort of resemble each other. What about our physique? No. No? I think you're more... I'm buffer than him? Like a... Yeah, he's, he can probably still whip me though, I don't know. Uh, Probably. Did you know he could like crack walnuts with his fingers? Yeah, Legend, he does Legend all of his it. stunts by himself. He can totally. I would butt. never do my own stunts. <laughs> I would never do my own stunts. I want to live. That guy's crazy. But Jackie Chan, Mr. Nice Guy, is not so nice. This is like one of many reasons I, I don't. I don't actually like Jackie Chan. Although we kind of look alike, and people are like, hey, I don't really like the guy because I've known this for a long time. Because mm -hmm. in China, he does not have a good reputation. Um, How so? Well, we, we know about his infidelities, like everybody knows about it. And it, it's evident because he actually has a kid out of wedlock. Uh, Hong Kong people hate him mm -hmm. because when Article 23 came out many years ago, he was in support of Article 23. So he was he turned his back on the on the Hong Kong uh, people. Yeah. And basically, Article be, 23 is China wants to basic, take back Hong Kong. Well, not just take back because it, it is back, yeah. but it's actually basically uh, China wanted to get rid of democracy in Hong Kong mm -hmm. and to just uh, implement their, implement own their government own government officials. Exactly. Jackie Chan turned his back on the uh, Hong Kong people then, and then. There was a statement, I think this was uh, five, six years ago, where he basically came out and said, we'll try to find this for you, the Chinese people cannot think for themselves. Should not be think for themselves, because they cannot. Which is ridiculous. So, we, everyone kind of knows that he, he's kind of become the, the propaganda arm of Beijing, the, the, the communist government. Yeah. He's not sh you know shy about it, because yeah. he really, that's, it's, it's really clear where he stands. So for all those reasons, I do not like the guy. And today, even let's add another reason to that list. He basically came out and said what about his wife? He said something along the lines of, you know, I the only reason why we got married was because I got her pregnant. Yeah. And I kind of felt like I was obligated to get married to right. her. And it was long ago that, you know, my feelings for her and ro our romantic feelings have long it's just done evaporated and they're still married yeah and it's they been like kid, they have a kid jc 35 who, years of marriage yeah turned out to be a total disappointment that yeah. guy did a couple of things um I, i'm no pr expert okay i'm, I'm not i don't know I, I say some stupid things in my videos and, <laughs> you know I, I say some stupid things i wear some stupid things i don't know even me i would be like yo yo jackie chan man maybe you shouldn't go on go in public and just be like yeah I didn't really, I never wanted to marry my wife. I was forced to. Yeah. I mean, is that is that good for anything? Like, are you I plugging mean, a movie? It's one thing to be honest, but to actually say that about your wife and your family, yeah. who you're still with and yeah. who you're still very much a part of. Yeah. Well, it's like, I don't get why anyone in their right mind would want to do that. Are you like, are you not ever seeing her again? Because this <laughs> sounds like something you say when you're like, your relationship is done. Yeah. And you're like, yeah, we got divorced because I felt really forced to. Okay, and even then I wouldn't advise for uh, for it because that just makes you sound like a total, you know, jerk. I can see that happening if like, okay, you guys are divorced, 10 years later, people are like, oh, so what really happened? Yeah, yeah we were kind of forced into it. All right, I understand. You're still with the woman. <laughs> is she cooking you dinner today? Yo, I would lace that dinner with at least some, you know, some saliva. <gasps> I'd be, I'd be serving him like a, like a snot cha shell noodles or something. When I first read this article, I thought it was, you know, it's like arranged marriages for actors for publicity. So when I first read the title of this article, I was like, oh, maybe he was forced to marry someone he didn't really want to, but it was because of PR, because, you know, they're both stars in Taiwan and China, whatever. But when I actually read what he said yeah. about his wife, that was, I mean, I loved him growing up. Rush Hour too. I mean, Everyone Rush Hour. loved him. Rush Hour was like, Here's you know? the thing, that's what, that's what I'm talking about. Most people, when I say I don't like Jackie Chan, they don't understand because Jackie Chan, he has a, in the professional realm, has a pretty spiffy image, right? Yeah. He comes up as a wholesome dude. Mm -hmm. He makes like more family oriented yeah. movies, but he's not, he's not a good guy. Many people know he, after he got married, even after he got married, he was forced to get married. He, you know, he had many girlfriends. Yeah. And then, you know, he has a child out of wedlock who doesn't even talk to him. Who, who knows nothing about him. Right. He doesn't seem to care. I mean, he takes care of his, his druggy son that like, you know, does all sorts of crazy stuff. But He's caught with like 100 grams of marijuana. Yeah, I mean, it's, that, guy's, that guy's like, like a train wreck on, a, on his own. And, and so I'm just saying like, this is just something about 
uh, the image that he's kind of portraying, but that's not who he really is. And this story is, is one more piece of evidence against that. So count me out as a Jackie Chan fan. Um, I mean, I always been out as a Jackie Chan fan. I, mean, I was never a Jackie Chan fan, but because we have the, ugh, the stupid resemblance thing, like I can't ever shake that thing. <laughs> Every single video, hey, you kind of look like that guy from that one movie. <laughs> you know, you know, you know, my favorite joke was, people, people said that to me, they're like, yeah, hey, you look like that. I'm like, Chris Tucker? <laughs> you mean that guy from Russia, right? Chris Tucker? You know that dude? <laughs> but That's but funny. I mean and then, yeah like every single comment every single video is like someone new yeah I see the geek and these new subscribers all yeah. the time they're like did anyone ever tell you I, sh I I'm always like no no one's ever said that no ever not a single you song. are the first <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you you noticed that man no one's ever said that to me let us know what you guys think are you a fan are you not a fan did the story change your perception of Jackie Chan I'm making a video I'm gonna make a video on another channel talking about all the crazy things Jackie has done. I'm gonna do it because this guy, I mean, we look like each other, I guess, so I have a responsibility. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for watching. See ya.